hello guys welcome back to sweetness kitchen today we are going to make beans stew and it tastes so good guys here are the ingredients i'm going to use let's get started here i have chopped onions garlic scott bonnet pepper shrimp powder whole pepper seasoning cured fish blended tomatoes salt to taste diced beef ginger macro fish and washed beans i'll then go ahead and blend the onions and the garlic and the ginger and then set it aside After 10 minutes, I'll now go ahead and check on the beef, give it a quick stir, after which I'll cover it to cook for about 5 minutes again. After 5 minutes, the beef is well cooked. I'll now go ahead and set it aside. So guys, in a pot, I'll then go ahead and add in the washed beans and then give it enough water to cook for about 80%. The reason. So guys, after a while, I'll now go ahead and check on the beans and then give it a quick stir. I'll now check one of it and see. Just look at it. It's just the way I want it. I'll now give it some salt to taste and then give it a quick stir and allow it to simmer for about 3 minutes. But after 3 minutes, I'll strain the beans and set it aside. In a pot, Add in some red oil and allow it to heat up. After which, add in your cured fish, then add in your diced onions, and then give it a quick stir and allow it to fry for about one to two minutes. After one to two minutes, add in your blended tomatoes and then add in your blended Scott Bennett pepper and then give it a quick stir and allow it to cook for about fifteen minutes. <music> The reason. So guys, after 15 minutes, I'll now go ahead and check on the stew and give it a quick stir. I'll now go ahead and harden the beef and the stock together, after which I'll harden some salt to taste, then harden all pepper seasoning and some shrimp powder. I'll then give it a quick stir and then allow it to cook for about additional 10 minutes. After 5 minutes guys, just look at our stew and my god, the aroma in this kitchen and the stew tastes so good. I will now go ahead and then add in 
the cooked beans remember i strained the beans so i did not throw the liquid away i will use it later and then i'm hardening the beans bit by bit so i'll now go ahead and add in the remaining beans and then give it a quick stir <music> guys as you can see the steel is too thick so i'll now go ahead and add in the beans liquid to loosen it up and then give it a quick stir and allow it to simmer for about three minutes the reason so guys after three minutes i'll now check on the beans remember to cook on a medium heat i notice i need to add a little bit of oil so i'll now do that and then add in some fresh sliced onions it will give it a very nice flavor trust me guys it tastes so good remember to cook it on a medium heat and then after three minutes turn off the heat and our beans is ready just look at it it's so delicious guys i'll now go ahead and fry my plantain i'll then season the plantain with some salt a little bit of water then shake it up to mix it and then in a pot i'll then add in some oil and then allow it to heat up and then go ahead and fry the plantain until golden brown if you have watched up to this point i say thank you and to my returning subscribers i say thank you and to my new subscribers you are also welcome please don't forget to hit the notification bell so each time i post a video you will be the first to be notified please don't forget to give this video a like thumbs up and share guys as you can see our plantain is ready i'll now go ahead and take it out from the oil and then set it aside and as you can see it is golden brown so at this point you have to serve and enjoy thank you all for watching see you on my next one bye bye love you all ciao ciao the reason